Hey guys, what's happening? I'm going to be doing an unboxing. And um, no, I didn't order this professional dinnerware. <laughs> I bought this vintage lens off this guy off Facebook. Because I am going to be getting a new camera, guys, which is I'm going to be getting the 70D, which is my choice because of it fucking looks awesome. I bought a vintage lens because I've read lots of good things and they're half the price, so you can't really go wrong. So anyway, let's get into opening this, even though I've sort of already opened it, but I thought it was just too cool not to make a video about it. Ollie! Ollie! Now, what do you have to say? Huh? Are you going to say anything? You're just going to look worried like you always do. I find, when I was, okay, when I first took this off, this uh, plastic, uh, yeah, thing that was around it, I saw the end of that, right? And I was like, I've been fucking ripped off. He sent me fucking professional dinnerware. He's just gone up the bloody step. Ollie, come here now. That fucking hell. What are you doing? Oh, come down then, come on. I did pry open one of these sides and had a look in it. I could see a lens, not a tea cosy. Let's get into doing this. Any other sides? And yes, there's someone else. This is hard with one hand. On to the opening. It's always great when you've got one hand in it. I should really go put my fish eye on for Okay, I'm gonna go put my fish eye on. Actually, let's not put the fish eye on. It'll just make everything look wide. Ooh. And this is where I saw the lens somewhere. Well, I hope it's not a fucking tea cozy. I got some of this stuff. Some of this uh, good stuff. He's like food, popcorn. It's not a tea cozy. No uh, lens caps, but I'm cool with that. I, I thought I'd bring it out onto this table with some more light so you guys could see it. So there it is. This lens. It's a Helios 44 millimeter. This is a Soviet copy of Carl Biostar's 58 millimeter lens. So it's still an it, its own original sort of copy, but it's it's based on another another Russian sort of make. As you can see. So let me just change that. You can see the aperture blades in there. It has eight aperture blades. And it, this particular lens is designed for a analog 58mm, so it was designed for older cameras because obviously we're talking about this lens is about more than 20 years old, well older than that, so markings it has on it, it says, let me just bring this over, Helios 44mm and it's got the logo over there and the aperture clicks on this are very clean. I can't see, there's literally, there's virtually no problem with it, and I am, that's quite rare to be honest with you. See, then you be here, you can switch to manual mode, so, or auto mode, see, so, when you turn the f-stops for here, and you click this, that would be for automatic mode, but apart from this, you won't be able to get automatic on a full frame DSLR or any other cameras which I'm going to be using it on, it's going to be virtually, it's just completely manual. There's there's no other option, but to be honest, I like that. It gives you much more finer control and it allows you just to play around with the different type of situations you can put it in. But I think it's really good though. Anyway, as you can see, it's designed for an M42 mount, so if you want this to fit on any of your DSLR full frame cameras or any other sort of camera, for Canon, there's a... Uh, there's a 42mm mount to Canon adapter, and that was only about £4, something like that. But you can get them from Nikon and others, you know, and maybe some older cameras. 
they do make a lot of adapters for these so you won't be running out of any uh, any fun with this but anyway I'm gonna be having a lot of fun with this and look at that guys the the clicks are so good like I know it's not gonna be silent if you're videoing or anything like that but it doesn't really matter to be honest because most videos I overlap with music anyway or things like that but I can't wait to try this out anyway it's a good lens and I've heard lots of things and it has its own original bokeh so enjoy oh and by the way this lens was designed and created in 1939 so it's got an age to it tell me what you think of this video guys thanks for watching but anyway there is a ton of reviews out there saying how good this thing is I just wanted to do a quick unboxing simply because of how cool it looks but if I was you I'd go grab one of these yourself because there's thousands of them on eBay and for the people who like us who can actually see the quality in the older lenses you know that makes a big difference because there's people out there who swear by all the new prime lenses and all the things like to, to be honest right the older lenses are better in or even more so you know so these things go pick one up or any other sigma lenses or any other make old vintage lenses i've got another one coming soon as well so keep an eye out for that video and i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching and hopefully be bringing you better quality in the future so See you guys. Alright, get away.